Hello! At this tutorial, we're going to look at commenting styles. What types of comments shall you use, when and where to use them? The first rule is, add comments for non-obvious code or where additional information is necessary for the user. Now, for example, if I'm to navigate to the MPU 6050 library, like the header file, um, I can add comment to the accelerometer full scale to, um, to note the page number where all this information can be found in the date sheet. That's some additional information that it will be very helpful for user. So I can add a single line comment, um, something like this, accelerometer full scale values. And I can add a note, read page 15 of the MPU 6050 registers map manual. So that's in essence rule number one. If any additional information is needed or if the code is not obvious, then you need to add a comment. The second rule is, in, is, the, is the opposite. Avoid commenting obvious parts of code. This makes your code more tidy and easier to read and without excessive commenting. So for example, I have a function that returns the x-axis acceleration and the name already implies that. I don't really need to come here and write return x-axis acceleration. That's very redundant and uh, we shouldn't do that. And the third rule is use single line comment for generic commenting. And we've already done that. So for the comment we added in the header file, we use a single line comment, something like this. And that's generally the way to go. And then the rule number four, when you have main comment and sub comment, use the multi-line syntax for the main comment and then single line comments for the sub uh, remaining comment. Um, so, for example, if I'm going, if I'm, if I'm to comment, uh, comment the initialization function, which has multiple steps, and I want to add a main comment, I can use the multi-line syntax. Uh, just the syntax; it doesn't have to be multiple line literally. Um, I can call this MPU 6050 initialization sequence. Okay. And then I can add sub comments uh, using the single line comment, uh, like allocate memory for the object. Um, set the R squared C address. Um, and then initialize the um, full scale uh, value okay now those comments might be redundant in fact this might not be necessary because this part of the code is already quite obvious but here I just wanted to highlight the method of doing uh, multiple commenting where you have a main comment and then sub comments like this and rule number five if you want to comment out a block of code Use the if zero macro with endif instead of the actual comment out. And that's basically to minimize potential issues related to preprocessor tokens and generally it improves readability. So I would like to comment out these last three functions because I deleted them from the source file and I want to comment them out for now. Um, I shouldn't do the full normal line comments or the multiple line comment like this one. Because this one is a bit dangerous. So if I'm adding another comment here uh, that has uh, this icon, it will basically break all my uh, commenting. Um, and that's not quite safe. Uh, the better way to do this according to rule number five is to use F0 macro. So if I want to comment them out, I can just write this macro F0 and then I can add um, an end at the end.
um, as simple as that and that will be quite safe um, and it's a much better way to do it and now rule number six uh, for any incomplete code add to do comment preferably with the developer first and last name to help with tracing changes so for example um, i would like to complete this function which updates the accelerometer data and uh, i want to add a comment here with to do so i'm going to write to do and then between uh, brackets uh, i can add my name uh, this is quite useful because if somebody else work on this later he will he can easily identify who was the person who added the comment and he can just get back to me and ask what exactly needs to be done here okay um, and i can just basically add something like link to i2c data read uh, function and rule number seven for functions documentation or commenting use doxygen style uh, that's basically the one i prefer um, you might actually use something else but doxygen is basically the main one and i like to use it and i decided to add it as part of the rules and you can enable automatic doxygen formatter on eclipse um, so you can go to uh, project properties and you can navigate to cc plus plus general just click on this and then enable project specific settings and uh, on documentation tool select doxygen and click ok apply and close and now when you comment a function ox doxygen will automatically be applied so uh, let me show you that so uh, let's try to uh, add comment to the uh, get acceleration x-axis um, all I need is to add this multiple line with double star and click enter and this will automatically add the parameter that we pass the return and I can add the function brief here or I can add uh, at brief tag uh, and of course more on doxygen in a separate series and separate tutorial series I don't want to expand on doxygen here I just wanted to mention the fact that um, for function commenting and documentation uh, doxygen comes in extremely helpful okay uh, so this one gets accelerometer x axis uh, data okay and then the return return acceleration in uh, milli g uh, unit this is quite helpful so uh, if i want to comment this function to um, mention the fact that acceleration the return value is in milli g unit uh, this is quite useful um, and of course uh, according to rule number two you should avoid commenting obvious parts so i'm not going to comment uh, all the functions i'm commenting this function in particular to uh, mention the fact that acceleration is returned in milli g okay uh, this is a very valuable information for the user um, and rule number eight basically is um, add function commenting and documentation only in header file uh, because i find this a lot more readable than in source file where there will be plenty of coding so do not put this one again in the uh, source file so just leave this empty if the user want to refer to the documentation he should just navigate back to the header file this is a lot neater because here we're going to have lots of coding and uh, it will be quite long and messy whereas the header file it only has the function prototypes so I can uh, really afford to add the uh, documentation. Um, and that's pretty much all the rules I wanted to highlight on, um, uh, on commenting. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.